Right. So we're going to drive from here. As you said, we're going to do the roundabout less, uh, first. Mm -hmm. And obviously, you say you want to do it by yourself. Yeah. So for roundabout, do it by yourself. Going out from here, do it by yourself. So I may help you more for the cross road junction, which we have never done it. Mm -hmm. But in the meantime, uh, your left turning, right turning, roundabout. See if you challenge yourself and make your own decision. Obviously, if you do it wrong, then I will jump in and I will help you out. Okay? Mm -hmm. Is that okay? Yeah. All right, let's drive off and over here to this for me. Ooh, sorry. Okay. What's the B for? Sorry. B is called extra braking. So if you are driving this car downhill from here, mm -hmm. and B is similar to the D, but when you're doing B, so what the car is doing is also whenever you're pressing the brake, the engine doing more braking for you. So oh. you don't skid down on the icy conditions. Okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Good. Yeah, much better control to the well done. Yeah, that's fine. End of this road, turn right, please. So when you join a new road, what's the first thing you should do? Yeah, and then make progress. You should pop over here, am I right? Yeah, it got it burnt down like last summer. Come on, have you doing some warehouses over here or something? Yeah, that and a few more in. Yeah, that was the oldest pub on this uh, town, isn't it? Yeah, it was like, how old was it? Yeah, I think somebody must have done it deliberately so they can build something else on it. Mm -hmm. you, know, that, you know, that's how it is. Yeah, we have a few theories. <laughs> like our whole neighborhood. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Well done. So there was a good less space and less speed technique over there. Well done. Okay, so the end of this road, mm -hmm. I would like you to turn left, please. Thank you for doing nice meeting situation. you were looking to the left sorry so you were when you were turning left mm -hmm. you look to the right the bus was coming so we stay there yeah you look to the left already once but when you were turning left why you would keep looking to the left that time <sighs> you know, I honestly do not know why <laughs> we don't need to because you're turning into your own big lane oh, yeah. there isn't it yeah yes if you are into the side minor road mm -hmm. That is where it makes sense to check both sides. Oh, okay. But here, you have got your own lane you were turning into, isn't it? Yeah. Change of direction, mirrors, check. That was very good there, and so you saw the bus indicating early, and you check your mirrors early, and you go around early. That was a very, very good decision. Take a 
about the petty streams as well. Especially he, he was, didn't even look to the low, he just looking for the flow. So make sure you need to make sure that save him off my pedal. Yeah. yeah. So the next <coughs> traffic light coming up, I would like you to turn left in the traffic light, please. Use your brakes when you turn. I mean, gentle brakes, gentle brakes. Yeah, it's a sharp turning. Yeah. Always remember to use your brakes when you're turning, please, especially in automatic car. Because in automatic car, the car will not know you want to go slow on the turnings. In a manual car, normally you drop your gear. Yeah? yeah. <coughs> so, I notice you're about to speed up on that turning, isn't it? So, make yeah, sure you use your brakes, please. Because what risk you may gonna take, if you're gonna speed up over there, you may be able to turn, but mm. you may lose your control. Okay. And also, you may end up going too much onto the yes, other yes. side of the lane as well. Because there are two lanes basically, isn't it? Yeah? We're doing 41, what's the speed limit on this road? Can we not do 48, 49? We can, isn't it? are indicating so on the dual carriageways or on the main motorways you see you you just have to end you press your brake on the last second so whenever you're going more than 30 faster when your leader indicates you that what they're telling you what the intentions are start slowing down straight away because what the last thing you want you press the brake on the last second now what if brakes become spongy or slack that time it may not gonna work that time to stop over there so always plan early whenever you're doing 50 or 70 60 plan early don't leave it for the last minute Traffic lights, I would like you to turn left on the traffic light, please. So when I go Yeah, yeah. Man here. So why are we not signaling? Yeah, I was gonna Well you should have signaled that time when you were thinking because if again you want a dual carriage where if you don't signal early people don't know what your intentions are so always do it okay and i say good well done so keep it to the left side so look at the arrows there what the arrow is telling you what may happen from the right so what you should be doing then yeah what is the sign telling you right okay so my job is now done 
Just walk us <laughs> on that road and then uh, just drive. Because you are more than enough good drive to make the Navi let you know though, yeah? Yeah. The more you drive by yourself independently, the more you challenge yourself, the more good driver you become quicker basically. So this car have got the, the radar system fitted in there. So the car feel that you crossing over the line mm -hmm. for unnecessary reason, mm -hmm. it will warn you. Okay. So what happened that time? You were going over the cycle lane a little bit, oh. and it warned you that why are you going over there? You need to be staying inside this lane. I mean that's why. That's yeah. So especially on the motorway, if you're driving, if you fall asleep and you try to go slightly there. It wake you up and not only that it will also push you back to the your road as well. Oh. So I don't know if you ever do you feel your steering move a little bit? Do a you little feel? bit. Yeah. Time, I thought it was me or something. No. So is a car was pushing you back again over there. Oh, that's really yeah. Obviously we don't want that in, in the in the exam point of view or yeah. in the normal term as well. So we have got our roundabout coming up. Do this by yourself. So the next mini roundabout, yeah. I would like you to turn right, please. A second exit. You need to go slowly. Check all the mirrors. Look ahead. It's okay. I'm gonna explain to you again in a minute. Okay, that's why you wanna do the roundabout lesson today. Okay, so I would like you to park your car to the left over there, please. Where that curb is. Okay, and then secure your car list for me. P park. Can I have pet went on to P and then the camera showed me I was like what? Yeah, because you, when you're going from D you go to neutral first, yeah. then you go to reverse and then you go to P, isn't it? Yeah? Mm. Okay. Right. Now that mini roundabout you just did. If you look the layout for that, remember the layout, it was like this. Mm -hmm. Was there any left turning there? No. No. So the chances are this car cannot go to their right. They can go around the roundabout to go back, mm -hmm. but they can't really go this way. So if they want to go around the roundabout, they would indicate to go around it, yeah? Yeah. Now when the car was coming like there, was that van was signaling? Mm -mm. No. Now you were signaling. Mm -hmm. So what are you telling that van driver? Where are you going on right. his sure. right? Mm -hmm. Right? Are you going on his right? Yeah. Yes. Now you waited for the two cars because they were on your right. So you give it to them the right thing to do. But then start looking at that van. Yeah. But you shouldn't be because that van should give you the way because you are on his right, right side. Yes, if that van would have been indicating going around, coming into front of your road, mm -hmm. then you would have waited for that van driver. Right. Yeah? yeah. So if nobody coming from the right mm -hmm. into front of your road, and this car is either going straight or even they're going there, mm -hmm. it still is your priority. Right. Okay. Because if I turn around, now let me ask you. So. If I am driving this car and mm -hmm. you're driving this car, mm -hmm. so do I have to give you the way or you give it to me? 
you have to give her a kiss as well. Correct. So there you go. Okay. You understand what I mean? Yeah. Now, obviously, that's why you're only doing it second time or third time. Mm -hmm. This is how you're going to gain the more confidence and knowledge that who give it to who, basically. Mm -hmm. He was not signaling, number one. It was open view. You give it to your right. Mm -hmm. You can't go around it and he should go. Maybe the second car behind, if they were signaling going around, if you waited, I would have been fine. But there was no car behind that van driver mm -hmm. either. Okay? Mm -hmm. So do you understand the concept of this? Yeah. Any problem, any questions on this? Or not sure for something? No. You okay? Yeah. Alright, good. Keep it to your right. Yeah. Alright, let's drive off whenever you are ready, please, for me. happening ahead so we after the band straight away there's a traffic light there there were so many cars in front of you so planning yourself but again the local knowledge comes in as well mm -hmm. but if you're not sure you can also on the badge you're coming in you can move your body towards the door a little bit mm -hmm. that may give you the better view as well
center and the right mirror, the right mirror. You check your center mirror early, but the right mirror as well. Again, when you're on about is coming. Now this is an open view that is well so good. Anyone coming from the right? Mm -hmm. Good. Is he signaling going on the opposite direction? Yes. So what do we do? We do. We can go. Yeah. Also and also you have the blocker as well. Yeah. yeah. Good. So we've done this before as well. Mm -hmm. Just to remind you again, the examiner will say to you, turn right to the traffic light. So that that learner is staying in this lane mm -hmm. rather than going to the right lane, staying in this current lane. Yeah. Why is that? Because if we stop going. Yes, because you have got two arrows there. Mm -hmm. Because when you're going to turn right, then examiner asks you to go to the left. If you can't use that lane, you can, yeah. but then you will have to then change again to the left lane. Mm -hmm. But if you're going to use this one, you will end up going into the left lane. Yeah. You understand what I mean? Yes. That's good, well done. Guys and tarmac. Yes. People can't wait. Say again? So people can't wait, they're just going to the other lane. <laughs> I just said they can use that lane as well. Mm -hmm. Even they can use to turn left as well. Yeah. But the problem is when you're gonna turn left, they will have to keep the car into the yeah. other lane. They can't just go into the left lane. You know, I'm so they're using the right lane, they can turn left, but you have to keep to the right and they will have to merge. I just did one lesson before, it wasn't that bad. It was having this right now. Mm -hmm. Usually it's not that busy though. Okay, I mean while we're here, then we may take the opportunity to do something else. So mm -hmm. as you're driving, this is a very good way of thinking about it. So you have got a big sign board coming up, right? Yep. So how many exits does the sound about have according to the sign board? One, two, three, four. Good. So which, which exit third taking us towards to? One, two, three. Yeah, and Jolly or... Uh, M65 best. So, if I give you no instruction, for mm -hmm. example, or examiner, which exit you're going to be taking? Um, what exit? So, sorry, I'm so, sorry. so let's say you're driving this road on uh -huh. this road here. You know you got a roundabout coming up. Yep. And you're waiting for an instruction from the examiner to tell you where you're going. So he's not giving you any instruction. Where would you go? According to the sign board there. Would you go left? Would you go right? Would you go straight? You don't know these. Correct, yes. No instruction, you go straight. You follow the road ahead. Yeah. So that means you end up taking the second exit. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So this is what you're going to be doing in a minute. So when we're going to be doing some more mm -hmm. roundabouts, mm -hmm. so you're going to be doing independent driving, you're going to be following the sign. You're going to be doing this in a minute, which we have done on your last lesson. Yeah, yeah but that's how it works. Unless if the examiner wants you to turn left or right, they will let you know in enough notice, though, yeah? Mm -hmm. Why is it so busy? The football's not on. It too. looked like, no, no, no. It looked like either an accident on M65 or there might be a temporary traffic light. Could be either thing. Oh, it's a I think it may be a temporary traffic light. Mm. Because school holiday, they, they put every traffic light everywhere. Mm. I did a mock test earlier on, it wasn't there. Was it not? Uh, nope. No. Nope. It was all clear. I realized I hope it's the only one in my mind. 
You hold the same way tight. It's not the same way, like like right here. Like your dad. Yeah. Ah. It's good. That's good because you're holding it ten to two, isn't it? Ten o'clock and mm. two o'clock. Good, right right there. Now, what will happen, Anisha, mm -hmm. if the traffic is totally stand still and they're not moving? Would you keep pressing the foot brake or would you do something about it just to put it in the park? Put it in the park, yeah. yeah. Put it in the park would be a better option for you if the traffic is not moving at all rather than keep pressing a brake. Mm. Because the benefit you have, for God, it's not happen, but somebody hits you at the back and if you're in the park, mm. then you're not going to hit any other car. But only if you're sitting for more than 10 seconds or in my car. You can also do something else. If you just put this over there, if you lift up once, yes. yeah, that's it. Now what happened now, it activated your, um, so if you take your feet off the brake, for example, it's not gonna move. But whenever the front car move, you just need to press gentle accelerator and it will deactivate it for mm -hmm. you. But you only wanna use this in this situation though, okay, yeah? Right. And obviously if they're solid, like on the motorway sometimes, you stuck there for hours, mm. Park it. <laughs> yeah, I hardly have to teach about this, uh, but obviously, it's better option if you are mm. sitting for more than ten seconds. Make sure you lift it up. Lift it up. Yeah, so you don't need now anyway. So it has it. It's, it's work. Yeah. yeah. Because you should be telling you there as well. The park somewhere. There's any light comes up over there for parking? It oh, it's there. there. Yeah, that's yeah. it. There you go. Yeah, so like again, check your mirrors and there you go. Make sense? Yeah, yeah. Come on guys, I just want to drive. What's going on? I'm really hoping it's not an accident at all. I mean, the other thing we can do, we can turn around and then go around back. But well, I don't think so. It's going to be at six. I think it's temporary traffic light somewhere. Everybody hates temporary traffic lights. They don't. They're not very efficient. No, they don't. But the problem is, you got to understand why they have to put a temporary traffic light. Why mm. is that? To protect who? The drivers, the, everyone. What about the workers who work working over there? Yeah. It's them as well, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so basically, those motorbikes there, mm -hmm. obviously, like that black car driver there, yeah. he or she is doing the right thing, yeah, she is doing the right thing. She is not blocking this, because her exit is fully blocked as well. Now she's moving because the traffic is moved. So if you're coming from there, like mm -hmm. the van driver, yeah. if your road you're going into Versu is fully blocked, mm -hmm. you should not be blocking these people. Because like those people, they're who blocking want, them now. Well, People who want to go straight, they should be able to go. Mm -hmm. But look like there is somebody on the front of the red car, they might mm -hmm. be blocking them. So like the red car there who want to go straight, can you see that? Yeah. So now they can go straight. So that black car there, they're doing the right thing. They're not blocking our exit at the moment, the taxi driver there, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? So that's, it's something you're going to learn as you do more and more driving by yourself. But it's a good understanding of today because it's, it's busy, mm -hmm. so you can actually understand what's, what what will may happen to you if you're going to be doing your general driving. Mm -hmm. You don't really face this sort of situations on day to day. Really, it's very rarely this has happened. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to take a final check, but I think it has to be the traffic light down there. Yeah. Okay, we're going to be turning left at the next traffic light, please. First exit. Mm -hmm.
yeah? yeah so go all the give way line so because you cannot really go any further mm -hmm. you need to stop yourself there go a bit more further where the give way line is about here and you just have to wait you wait until it's safe number one mm -hmm. but also you wait until it's safe from your right as well so either from right or from there because people came from mcdonald they can also come as well so you need to always check your right and ahead as well So like this van driver there in the blue car and mm -hmm. they want to go straight but they can't because they don't have enough space to go around that but that small blue car was holding in that road there you see what i mean mm -hmm. and that is the reason why you have to consider about other traffic as well it's very I'm important ready to Uh, yeah, go. You should be always oh, right next yeah, to now. Now you can't. Yeah. Before we could have that's fine. Now it's okay. Sorry, guys. Sorry to who? <laughs> Everyone on the bus is a massive queue. And <laughs> is know. it our fault? No. So, no. so what did I say to your very first lesson? Remember that. Be a selfish driver. Yeah. You genuinely don't really have anything. What can we do? Oh, you're an idiot. You're an idiot. Why would you? Yeah, but he's not blocking it, so the way he stops, so now is he going to go or give you, is he giving it away? Oh, yes, yeah, go it. then. That's it. There you go. If somebody take it away, then take it as well. Mm. So that, that, that one driver is doing pretty good. Go a bit more forward. Yeah. So at least he's not blocking it and he's also letting you go as well. That's mm. the right thing to do, really. You can see this yeah, I think it looked like it's a temporary traffic light to me because they're moving in patches. So that tells me that it could be a temporary traffic light somewhere. Mm. So are you day off today? Yes. I love it. I love mm. it. <laughs> do you work on the weekends? I do. Yeah. Mm. It's a bit of a So I uploaded a video recently about the yellow box junction. Mm -hmm. So can you see on the floor ahead? So we have got a yellow box junction over there, right? Mm -hmm. So if you feel that the road you're going ahead is the car is all the way to the yellow box junction and you're gonna end up going to yellow box junction, you should stay put where the stop yeah. line is. So the two cars is going. So ask yourself, is there a space there for you? Yes. Yes. If the answer was no, you have to hold back mm -hmm. though, yeah? Okay, so Emergence. then and what's the sign telling you? Emergence, okay. Probably, yeah. Here, no, you don't need to go a bit more further, a bit more further, a bit more further. Try and get that's in about here. Yeah. That's, yeah, that silver car should be fine. Okay. Yeah. Can you use your right finger? You see that stick over there on your right? Yeah. Lift towards you for a few seconds. That's it, thank you. Oh, okay. So, what it does is just clean the. Because it was getting a bit dirty, isn't it? Mm. So this is something you're gonna learn more yeah. when you become uh, intermediate and test standard.
so this is part of your show me question as well do you know what sort of like things are asked to show or? yeah they ask you uh, show me I mean they only ask you one question by the way only one? only one show me question and only one but there are seven or eight show me questions and about 12 or 15 tell me question but oh. like show me question you may be driving the car and uh, uh, use a peep for me now park and the examiner may ask you when it's safe to do so mm -hmm. can you show me how can you turn on the front demister any idea what that is is that not so doing. how to demiss the front wheel oh, screen um, so you press this button there this yeah and unpress it that's how you should examine it <gasps> oh, okay. okay or how can you do the rear one simply press the bottom one and do it okay yeah. so check your mirrors again move forward you don't need to signal just go forward a little bit and just keep making sure look keep looking your right make yeah. sure that it's okay so it's not is it gonna merge no it's not merging it's wow. holding it's giving you the way so keep looking again Thank you, Mr. Mayor. That's it. It's the same guy who was good. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's it. And just focus our head now. Yeah, I can see temperature. I can see the road work sign yeah. there. Yeah. So the other show me question is, uh, show me how can you check if your horn is working? But obviously you can't do it now because yeah. it's a built up area. But in the exam, when they ask you, they normally ask you in the quieter area. So when they ask you, you simply press the horn. Okay. Yeah, you know how to do it, don't you? Yeah, just do that. Yeah. <laughs> Now the other show me question is, uh, show me how can you clean the front windscreen, which you just done it. Uh, show me how can you open and close your window. You just need to close, open like this a little yeah. bit and then close it. That's how you do that, okay? I thought it would be like questions about the engine. Do they have questions about the engine? So they have got questions for engine oil, engine braking, but they're tell mm -hmm. me questions. Okay. So the sh difference between the show me and tell me, the show me one, you need to show them but the thing is show me one you're driving the car so the examiner will always say to you when it's safe to do so mm -hmm. show me this this is so they're um, not giving you an order they're requesting you to show me whenever you feel safer yeah maybe okay. after a few seconds maybe straight away after uh, one minute or two minutes is mm -hmm. fine good And the tell me question, Anisha. Mm -hmm. So let's say they might ask you, this is part of a theory question as well, basically. Mm -hmm. Like, tell me, how can you check that your brakes are working correctly before you start a journey? Do you know the answer for that I one? Can I get someone to look for you whilst you press them? Or is it can you not just... So do you, do you understood my question? How to check the brakes are working. Correct. So that's the answer. The yeah. answer is, and this is a tell me question, do not show me. Oh, so the answer yeah. is, you tell the examiner that I'm going to drive the car for a few yards. Mm -hmm. I'm going to press a brake and the brake should not feel spongy or slack mm -hmm. and the car shouldn't go to one side. Now the answer you try to give me early on for the light, yeah. that question is, tell me how can you check that your brake lights are oh. working correctly. So the answer is, that I would press a brake, I would check in the reflection of, of the park cars or the windows. Mm -hmm. If not, I will ask somebody to check it for you. Right, okay. So they are the tell me questions. So what I will do, if you want, I will send you a link to the anyway, so mm -hmm. you start memorizing it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I will go through more in detail, but tell me once, do memorize it, and okay. uh, it's important. 
Yeah, you got a temporary traffic light over there, Anisha. So it's only here. So hopefully after this should be clear. Good use of mirror as well then. Okay, progress. More speed. More progress. Oh, yes, every light, isn't it? Okay, It's gonna go to red light. Yeah. So BF twenty three zero TR. He just went on the red light. It's not good. Yeah, that's it. Good. Yeah. Okay. Now important things because this is maybe the first time you're facing this mm -hmm. so the big important no notice you have is this signboard there yeah it has got two information there for you mm -hmm. that's why you got a big line there two information the top one what is that telling you uh, four -way there. what does that mean yes so the other one could be into this road where the blue car is. Ah, okay. Could be, I don't know. So, but it should be three way because one, two, two three. three. But I don't know where the four one is. But it says mm -hmm. four way. The problem with the four way is Anisha. Mm -hmm. That means one light goes green at a time. That's why it take right. a bit more longer. So like right now, the other one moving. Can you see that? Yeah, it's interesting. So that means the traffic from the right still red, mm -hmm. and ours are still red. Mm -hmm. And then after that, most likely, our will remain red, they will go green, and they will go red. That's why it takes more time. Ah. And also, always remember, wherever you see this signboard, this will become your virtual stopping line. Okay. Mm, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I did my lesson 9 till 10.30. Wasn't there, it was clear. Yeah. Now, because this is controlled by the traffic light, you don't need to look on your right because there should be traffic light, but I would still double check it anyway, yeah. Okay, so the next traffic light, I would like you to turn left at the traffic light, please. Yeah, good, well done. Think about the bushes. And also, think about tick-tock, tick-tock sound as well. Stuck here as well. Mm. So we have got two mini on the bars coming up, Alicia. Mm -hmm. Both of them we are following the road ahead. Yep. So make your own decisions. So think about if it's open view, closed view, what not, so decide by yourself, okay. Good use of mirrors, uh, well done. Really good. Good, excellent stuff. So go there and nobody's yeah. coming. That's it. So your reaction was slightly slow yeah. there. When you say open, you should have just gone that time. <laughs> Good. 
Okay, now I would like you to park your car to the left just after the bus stop. You're going to base over there, please. And you were there? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, now we're going to be start driving again from Anisha. We're going to mm -hmm. have at least five, no, six to seven major roundabouts we're going to do in a minute. Okay? <laughs> yeah. So now I'm going to make it slightly more interesting for you. Now in your exam, if you're coming here, mm -hmm. examiner may park the car over here. And examiner may ask you to do independent driving from okay. here. You know what's the meaning of independent Where to go? Correct. But they will tell you following. Right, so okay. you may be following a sign A B C for example. Mm -hmm. So when you start driving, so if you see sign A B C, if there's sign telling you turning right, then you will turn right at the junction. Or if the sign telling you turn left, you turn left. So basically you need to look for a sign. Okay. Now this is the first time you're doing. Mm -hmm. I will show you all the signs where they are. So you will get rough idea how to look out for. Mm -hmm. And obviously in the future lessons I you can yeah or examiner may ask you to follow the Roman road or Edgeworth mm -hmm. that means at the traffic light you're turning right okay. now because we're doing main topic is roundabouts following the sign Ozzel Tuzel okay. because on that one you're going to be doing a lot of roundabouts now when you find the sign Ozil Twizel or any other sign, mm -hmm. halfway through, the examiner can say to you, okay, so now when you share part of your independent driving, I would like you to follow Blackburn sign. Mm -hmm. So you may be following the sign Ozil Twizel, but when they change it, that means the next sign when you see, you will have to follow the sign Blackburn. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah. I will show you. It's pretty easy, mm -hmm. uh, but it's important because in your exam, examiner can ask you to do that. Would you want to take my jumper off? Just turn off the engine for me for one minute. Turn it off? Yeah, let me take my jumper off and then I'll take it. Getting warm now. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting warm. <laughs> Alright, so start the engine again please for me. All right. Okay. So let's drive off, please, whenever you are ready, please, for me. Yeah, good. Be rapid. Remember, decide quickly. If you don't decide quickly, what will happen? You'd have to wait and wait and wait. Yeah, but then nobody was coming, so decide quickly. React quickly. Remember the word? React, React. though, yeah? Mm -hmm. Because when you checked your blind spot chat, yeah. because you were confident there was nobody else was coming that time, wasn't it? Yeah. So they go then, isn't it? Good. And also my advice for you, push your speed more now. If you, there's no sun there, don't use it. Close this. It will give you the better view now. <laughs> okay, push your speed more now. On the hill, the car will demand Sweet. you to use more <laughs> gas. So you yeah. can go slightly more faster. Right, so what sign are we following? Oh, it's a twizzle. Oh, it's a twizzle. Now, when this signboard there, don't just keep looking at the signboard. Remember the one second rule. You glance one second at the signboard, but look on the floor, on the road. Mm -hmm. So look on a signboard, look on the road. Look on a signboard. Can you see where the twizzle is? You're going where? We're going yeah, so M65, town center, and also. So you're turning left. left. So you're turning left at the junction. Where the junction is? So yeah. what you need to do now then? Make sense so far? Yes. Any problem, any questions? No. Now this is what I want you to memorize okay. for the future lessons. Because if you don't have a local knowledge, you struggle. Now as you're going to turn left, mm -hmm. one lane become two. Yeah. They're both going straight. We need to be staying in the middle one because the middle one taking you towards the Ozil Twizzle to the right. Mm -hmm. The far left is taking you towards downtown center. Right, okay. okay? Mm -hmm. So let's just do this first one by one.
You didn't grow so far. Done. Very, very good. So single lane becoming a two. two. We're staying in this lane. Yep. So keep driving. Again, we've got a signboard over there. Mm -hmm. One second to the sign. Look on the road. So where are you going for Ozzel Trizzle? Right. Don't signal yet. But you're just staying this one. You signal where the first arrow comes up. Somewhere first, about here. Oh, okay. Yeah, that would, that would be too early. So keep going. What about the green filter arrow? Keep going. Can you see green filter yeah, arrow? So yeah, so keep going. Keep going. He's not going to come to you. Further left. Now, obviously, you have not really done crossroad junctions yet. No. It was part of a crossroad junction, but right. you're going to learn more on your next lesson, though, yeah? Okay. Okay. So, what are we following? We are following. Ozel Tuzel, yeah? What's coming up ahead? A roundabout. Mini or major? Major. So, we don't know which exit you're taking. Yeah. You have to decide this because we know we're going straight. That's all uh -huh. we know. Yeah. So, which exit do you think we're taking? Taking one. Yeah, come on, let's decide it. Good. Yeah, so well done. Good. Excellent stuff. Well done. Obviously, I'm helping you at this time. Mm -hmm. Which I do in your exam, exam, no, no, I'm going to no, ask no. you which as you take. You have to do by yourself. Yeah. yeah? Mm -hmm. Good. So, progress. Okay, so now part of your independent driving examiner will say to you mm -hmm. that now I would like you to follow the sign Blackburn okay now it's quite far away the sign mm -hmm. but they're telling you in advance so you can start planning yourself early as well okay yeah look everywhere they did all this was not there surprise well then there was a good use of mirrors there excellent stuff well done So, would you like me to show you about the sign or you think you're going to make your own decision? Uh, we're going Blackburn, right? We're going towards Blackburn now. Or follow okay. the sign Blackburn, basically. I think I'll try and follow the sign. <laughs> okay. Good. Yeah, but before we do that, what else we should do again? Check your left mirror. Why is that? Any idea? Bikes. Because you're crossing over the bike lane. Yeah. Good. And now you're following the sign. Like that. Yeah. It could go a bit more further. <laughs> So in that roundabout, we went straight ahead as an air. Yeah. Which exit did we take in? Is the first not the Willows? Yeah, it is. I keep doing that. <laughs> I know. I always do that. It's always the Willows. It's always that roundabout. I'm like, first one? No, it's the second. Jesus Christ. But you didn't sure. see the sign. The sign was standing in the second exit as well, isn't it? Yeah. Good. It's well done. To be fair, it is a very tiny weeny first exit, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. But you still need to see the sign, don't yeah. you? Know? So far, yeah. Please, we're still going straight ahead towards Blackburn, please. A bit more, but staying to the left. Yes. So you can go to Alta.
Why not? Was it? Check your mirrors and build up a speed first. We'll talk about this in a minute. Let's focus ahead. So what you should be anticipating by now, don't do what they're doing yet because the lights may change it's being green mm -hmm. for a while. So keep going, keep going, keep going. Start looking to your right. And is this changing? Yep. Now decide to go. If it changed now, we, uh -huh. we're committed now. Carry on now. There's no point. We could look at the car, how close is behind yeah. us. If you would have slammed your brake that time, straight to the yeah, <laughs> but we waited, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. we examiner will be fine with that. What you don't want to stop on a green light either. Yeah. So it was a right decision. Look, we have got two, one car behind us. We don't want to risk that time, though. Yeah, right. So that roundabout was a major roundabout, isn't it? Yeah. Whether you're going straight, you still need to signal by checking your mirrors. Yeah, they blocked them in. Wrong thing to do, isn't it? And that's what we discussed earlier on, isn't it? Excellent work. Well done. I did it a bit too late. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. As long as you put effort in there, Alicia, that's what the examiner like. Do you put something effort on it? Mm. Even they're slightly late, but they would like it. You have checked your mirrors, you were controlling the car, and you've done everything. They would appreciate that. Mm. If Rather than just not being completely, doing you know what I mean? Push your speed slightly more, 28 to 29. I'm just letting gravity do it at this point. Yeah, then just keep yeah, mm -hmm. let the gravity give you doing it. That's it. Good use of mirrors. Well done. Your mirror is getting spot on, Alicia. Very good. I've been doing it whilst everyone else is driving now. So yeah, that's good. good. <laughs> Mama, sister, Did your mum and dad notice as well that, oh, Alicia, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just yeah, talking about mirrors. Yeah, my sister was like, you should just stop me. I was like, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> nah, I can't help it. My instructor brainwashing me. I've been told. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going to give you instructions now. We're turning left at the next minute of this first day. Don't need to. Don't use the word panic. Relax. Take a deep breath, and do it one time at a time. At a time. That's easy. Yeah, lean your, keep leaning your body forward, yeah. but I will stay slightly more to the left though, Risha. Okay. Yeah, so it will be easier for you. Mm -hmm. And don't need to rush if genuinely there is no gap for you. Mm -hmm. I can grab it. Correct. Let the blue car go yeah. first, and now you can go. There you go. But look ahead as well. Yeah? yeah. Good. I right, say so relax. That's it. Do not put any negativity into your mind. Okay. Instead of saying panicky, they say, look, I was always getting nervous, but I'm going to do it nicely. Mm. Just take a deep breath and do it, and then look, it was fine, isn't mm. it? Last time that we did that roundabout, a woman was standing there, and I, I could have almost got it, I forgot to work. It's all right, don't worry, that's how you learn it. Okay, keep going. Now, I would like you to turn next road to your right, please. Okay. Yeah. It's okay, it's going up on the hill, that's why. Positioning slightly near to the center of the right white line there. I wouldn't worry about that car, do we? Good. There you go. Slow, slow, slow. Good, well done. Now, uh, I remembered. I remembered. But remember did you look. see the sign? Yeah, I remember it's a lot because uh, I remember we came here before. Okay, let's do this. Yeah, the reason why I bring you from here, let's do 20, please, not 12. Yeah. Uh, because I could have, I want you to go back again to the route we come in, mm -hmm. but I don't want you stuck on the traffic. That's ah, why I just right, use right. this one. Back. Otherwise, I was thinking to take you back to the test center, mm -hmm. but then we're going to be stuck over there, so we'll oh. just start leave it. Oh, okay. We might do it next lesson. Okay. I'm looking for the test that actually looks like. Oh, you will learn it, don't worry. <laughs> Hopefully, next lesson we will go there. Good, you've been telling your speed. Good. Gravity and brakes. Correct. I've got one over as well. So Doesn't good. matter. Because we're not breaking our law, do we? So we it's all... true, isn't it? That's when they can't find you even then. Correct. Don't, still yeah. can't think it. 
always remember most people get fails not because of their own driving it's just because other people like that look at the car behind you how close he is driving yeah. so he's pressurizing you to go faster you're only already doing 20 mm -hmm. how can you go more than 20 we mm -hmm. can't so we just have to be a selfish driver stick to the speed limit you we've been told to do simple as that What would happen if, like, um, said that your alerted breaks the low by going way over the speed limit? They will get failed. What if you get stopped by the police, though? Does that fall on you? Does that fall on them? Ah, good question. I will give you the answer in a minute. We're going to be turning right at the end of this road, please. Did no signal already there? Are we? Yeah, I did signal a bit. Too, Should yeah. have waited for that the part yeah. right there, yeah? Good. Yeah. Now let me ask you one question. Mm -hmm. So you're driving my car. Yep. And you end up doing an accident. That okay. will hold me, yeah. So keep going. So would the police going to arrest me or arrest you because you are the driver? Me. You. So how about the points then? So if you are speeding in my car, yeah. who will get the points then? Me or you then? You. But who was the driver? This is so weird because it's like you haven't got haven't got a full license. It doesn't matter. So you will you get the points points. on your provisional license, Hot. and it will. Yeah, there's so many learners I get. They already have points. They may be using a motorbike, whatever it is, and it will move over to your full license. Obviously, touch would never happen to me. Yeah. But it's down to the learner. They get the points. It's nothing to do with me. Wow. Okay, we're gonna be turning left at the next traffic light please left positioning it now tell me one more question okay i'll mm -hmm. answer to that now what if you want for the test with examiner yep and you end up doing speeding Ooh. so i'm not in the car mm -hmm. so would the examiner going to get the points mm -hmm. who will get points then i would there's you because there was a difference between examiner <laughs> and instructor then you understand what i mean yeah keep it to the left keep using your brakes she's too close that's it why are you standing in the road? Come yeah, on. she should be behind it. Yeah. The whole pavement. Yeah, so good. Check your mirrors and then build up the speed. So now you understand the concept of that now, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just nice to know things it like that. It is a good question to know. A lot of people think it is, is going with the structure, but yeah. the logic is no, it's not because the law says driving. is the driver. Now you're going to be turning right into a junction traffic light. Mm -hmm. Maybe this is the first time you're doing, so I will talk you through. It's like a crossroad, mm -hmm. but I will talk you through because we have not done a crossroad yet. Mm -hmm. So I will talk you through, okay? Now, this is a Pelican crossing only, okay? Yeah. So we have got a junction of traffic light coming up. So we're going to be turning right. So staying into which lane then? Yeah. yeah. And roughly where the arrow is, what you're going to do now? Signal. Mirror the signal. Now we do have got a big box over there. Can you see that? Yes. So go inside the box, but also the green arrow is there. Can you see it? Go inside yeah. the box first, and you can carry on going without stopping. Go now. There you go. Does it make sense? Yeah. Now, yeah, yeah, yeah. whenever you're turning right, luckily we had a green filter arrow, so we can go without stopping. Mm -hmm. If the green filter is not there, you will have to be completely merged into that box. So the traffic behind would be able to it's carry you away, which I'm going to explain to you more in the next lesson whenever we're doing our crossroad to the end. So do this by yourself. We'll be following the road ahead, please. Oh, good. That's it. Good. Well done. Yeah, good thinking. Well done. Keep going. You were right. Nice and right. Yes. You were right oh. thinking there because the road was pretty wide as well, isn't it? Mm. So we're following the sharp bend please so I have give you a clue that I said good you can your body forward to see so, in yeah. case of any big lorry because if the big lorry coming they will be using our road as well so yeah. you may have to stop though isn't it yeah yeah
good, well done. I'm not going over that. I'm doing okay. Yeah, you're doing okay. Yeah, you, you are in full control of the car, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay, slow down. I would like you to park your car to the left, please, before the learner comes. So, mirror signal now. Yeah, that's good. Keep rolling a bit more. Keep rolling. Keep going. Keep going a bit more further. And roughly about here, please. I think we've got too far. No, you're not. No, no you're not. Okay. And let's secure your car. Bit. Okay. Well, then, relax yourself. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm just trying to find my book. Called out. No, uh, oh, is there? Okay. Now, obviously, we're not going to be doing. We don't have a time to do cross road. Mm -hmm. But I just wanted to quickly explain to you something, so you will get a rough idea because you have faced this couple of times today. Yeah. Um, which you're going to learn more in details later on. Now, for example, mm -hmm. if you are turning right, mm -hmm. so if you look over here, you have got red light amber light and the green light mm -hmm. but also you have got the filter light, filter light. Mm -hmm. what does a filter light means and why they are there it's the that is what's the word what's the word it's the most, most um yeah so for example okay tell me one thing let's say you have got a red light mm -hmm. so you are here yep because the red light, but all of a sudden a green filter arrow comes in. Mm -hmm. Would you go or would you stay there? You would go because it doesn't have You would go. It. Yeah, so basically that's why it's called filter. It's filtering you through the traffic. Mm -hmm. Or now what you, the word you're looking, which I use with my learners, that the filter light is a superior that's light on the other lights basically. Yeah, that's now it's me who created this. So you may laugh or whatever, but that's how you may be remembering it. Yeah, definitely. But, when people see the filter light, they tend to cut the corner quickly. You still need to go like an L shape and then do it though, yeah? Mm -hmm. That's important. Now, the one we just did early on, the last one. So, L, yes. Yeah. So, what's important, now imagine this is a one box. Mm -hmm. Now, obviously, there was only one arrow. So, forget about this two hours for me. Imagine yeah. this is one box. Mm -hmm. You go to make sure you fully merge inside box yeah. to go to the right. You can't be like this on that box we Stick just did because if anybody who behind us, if they want to go straight, they can't go. They can't go. Now, what happened if you got all that box is fully full of the cars because they also want to turn right mm -hmm. and you are the stopping line? Would you still leave your stopping line or would you hold back? You would hold back. You hold back behind the stopping line. It's yeah. very important because by the time they will move the traffic light may red mm -hmm. that's why you're going to be struck over so that's important to do as well on your next lesson alicia we will going to do the crossroad junction i mean we've got 20 minutes left it's not going to be it, we can't do it but what we're going to be doing on your next lesson mm -hmm. we're going to be doing a lot of right turnings at the crossroad junction okay so controlled by the traffic light and we're also going to do the crossroad junctions controlled by the lane marking which I'm going to explain to you more in detail and it should be pretty easy for you really and after that we will go to the test center as well mm -hmm. which we did last time remember we did M65 roundabout roundabout and then small there so yep. we did a fourth exit remember yep I remember. did we did a four exit last time going to the test center yeah yeah we did you yeah you uh. made a video of then on the mid roundabout, we turn right four times going towards services. Yeah, no, yeah, 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 because you said that, that word, that's where the center is. You did mention you said that. So there's a last big subject left, really, for us. And uh, after that, we're going to start thinking about your maneuvers as well, okay? We're excited about maneuvers. Good, okie dokie. So let's drive off whenever you are ready, please, for me. Yeah, well done. Good, good reaction time.
your driving Alicia is getting very very good your confidence level is getting better as well your mirrors are spot on that's good everything is coming into the place nicely for you so hopefully we in the right direction what mm -hmm. do you think about your lesson so far you think you're enjoying it i'm actually enjoying them good you think you're learning yes good. <laughs> clearly because i haven't done anything wrong so far good i want to say that anyway you have uh, <coughs> you have passed your theory right yes i passed it good i'm still doing like refreshes though yeah so on the theory sure. you know the uh, hive agency codes all the signs and everything yeah 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 keep watching them as well mm -hmm. uh, because those are the ones that are very very important as well signs are the very crucial for you yeah, yeah? Especially when you learn and don't know what you're doing. absolutely because <clears throat> with your instructor obviously you you always with somebody else who mm -hmm. will guide you but think about when you pass you're gonna be your own yeah. so you need to know the signs and everything isn't it yeah mm. Good, well done. Sure. Yeah, that's where we usually start. That's right. Now, I don't know how, but the council did paint the line there. <laughs> they forgot they, that one. Now, we sent an email to the council to waiting for confirmation whether they have a scrap this as a cycle box oh, right. but if they do scrap it they need to come in and they wipe off the remaining line as well mm -hmm. otherwise it's confusing so up until the lines are still valid a little See, bit yeah. i would treat as a cycle box though yeah why you think we are so far back rather than a bit more close to the traffic line? why the stopping line is so far back why stop them yeah because usually it's stopping close. line is roughly where the traffic light is isn't it yeah why on this juncture so far back? Any idea? No, nah. Exactly. So what about if any big wagon need to turn, they need all their space to swing in? <sighs> okay, right. You understand? Yeah, yeah. That's okay. Oh, that's fine. Oh, horrible. Yep, they are. That's fine. That's what they do. They forgot that they used to be learners once, unfortunately. Mm. But what you don't want to lose your patience mm -hmm. and your control. Try to keep maintaining 28 to 29, Alicia. Mm -hmm. More speed. in the road there because this one if you want to go to the left mm -hmm. I would have said to you that I would like you to take the next road to your left yeah if not you are in this direction basically because we did not have any giveaway line or anything at all yeah so we have got a mini roundabout coming up and I would like you to take the first exit to your left please And start looking early and react quickly if nobody's coming. I'm good. Yeah. And the next traffic light mm -hmm. is like a crossroad junction. Yeah. I would like you to turn right at the crossroad junction. Yeah, now this time the signal is green but no filter arrow. So what you need to be doing. Because we have no other cars in the middle, you go forward and stop in the middle 
in the middle yeah in such a way that we don't impede the oncoming traffic about so here right. correct yes so are we impeding them nope. no so you wait for the safe gap mm -hmm. or the traffic that turn right so it's gonna go right that means you go now quickly there's nobody gonna come there as you go so this is again reaction need to be faster because if you don't react this cars will gonna move yeah. Nice thing to do is it no. reversing out of the main road. Uh huh. So because it's very congested road, mm -hmm. what phrase we normally use in these situations? Slow speed. Yeah, less space, less speed. Yeah, yeah good. Good. So what's coming up ahead? Good. Well done, good reaction there. Well done, good. You did very well there, no? It's not really your fault because council should have painted the triangle sign there mm. to warn you what's coming up ahead. But uh, they didn't. Come on, a bit more progress now. Can you share a bit more? Yeah, we live in a very poor town unfortunately council don't really spend the money on the road safety they should do so many cars over here so many people paying the road tax council tax it's only not much because of our Excellent, well I would like to take the next road to your right, please. Well done, good. Good, excellent stuff. Why are you doing this to speed them over here? Because there's like a school nearby. Mm -hmm. That's one thing. What other reason can you think of? Just to slow you down. Really. So when you turn right, you missed 20 signs again, didn't you? Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> See? It's 20 years, well. We're turning left at the end of this road, please. 
Yeah. Last time you saw, I remembered, but it's not about remember. It's about looking, seeing yeah. the sign as well, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. This car has been parked there for since last week, same spot. <laughs> but when I came to the last lesson, it was there. Yeah. Maybe it's been stolen and been dumped or what, I don't know. Let's leave it there, like almost covering the park. Because there's the a sports car basically. Yeah. Sorry, it's called uh, Volkswagen. Is it Chiraco? Chiraco? Something like that. Okay, now I would like you to take the next road to your right, please. And I would like to take to the Sorry, right. Slow down. More steering, slow speed. Oh, your garage is open. Is working. <laughs> yeah, little projects. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now, you know, if we go any further, I may not be opening the door from there. That's oh, okay, right, yeah. yeah. Secure your car. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. 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 What did I say to you? When you started, I said to you, give yourself 8 to 12 lessons mm -hmm. if you're a complete beginner. But you were not. You had few lessons before in the manual car. Mm -hmm. And it will become easier. Obviously, my way of teaching problem is that I do everything according to book. Mm -hmm. And look at now, your mirrors are spot on. So I don't even have to remind you for that. You were pretty good. A couple of times maybe, yeah. but that's good. Overall, your observation skills are now improved so much. You start planning yourself ahead. Mm -hmm. So everything is coming into the right box now. So that's very, very good. We have done more or less every subject apart from the crossroad, which we just, just touched a little bit. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do the crossroad junction. Now, next lesson, most likely, because it's only crossroad junction, which is a small subject, mm -hmm. we will have time. So hopefully I may do one maneuver with you. So... Total, do you know how many maneuvers you need to learn before your test? No, actually, I'm going to count. Four. Four. So, reverse bay parking, mm -hmm. forward bay parking, mm -hmm. parallel parking, and then pull over to the right maneuver. Okay. In your exam, you will only ask one, but we're going to learn all four of them. So, you're in the right path. Mm -hmm. So, you're doing pretty good. So, next lesson. When is your next lesson? Have you booked it? Yeah, I think, yeah. Yep, next Saturday. Do you want to book the week after? Yes. Have you, do you know your days off now? Double check. Turn off the engine piece for me. Yeah. Let me get my phone as well. So that's next week then. Okay, yeah. I am um, on the week 20th, 26th. 